The easy version of a veggie sandwich does not involve any cooking. Toast some regular old multi-grain or wheat sandwich bread in olive oil or butter on one side and let it cool. Gather the fillings that you prefer and slice all that are applicable. I usually go for cucumber, tomato, sprouts, spinach, pumpkin seeds, and a couple of different fats. Mayo, hummus, avocado, and cheese all qualify. Lay both sides of bread toasted side up. This is now a game of layers and fat goes first. Lipids will help defend the bread against SOG. Next, layer the flat items like cucumbers and tomatoes. Finish it off with shredded greens, sprouts, seeds, or any other loose components that might lock into each other like the hooks and loops of Velcro. Bring both sides together and cut the whole thing in half. Raw vegetable sandwiches are an exercise in structural integrity, so here's the logic. The soft side of the outer bread will give to biting pressure without squishing your fillings out. The oiled and toasted inner side helps in preventing sogginess, and the halved sandwich guarantees that even in a disaster scenario, a maximum 50% of your sandwich is affected. For a tastier veggie sando, I like to head to the grill, but first, veg prep. Bell peppers, broccolini, and portobellos can be left whole, while zucchini and eggplant can be sliced into quarter-inch planks. Brush everything generously with olive oil. You'll probably go through a lot, but these vegetables don't have a drop of fat to their name, so be generous. Hit everything all over with salt and grill each vegetable until it's softened and darkened to your preference, with the exception of the bell pepper. That one can go until it's totally black all over. Take it back in, let it cool, peel that blackened skin off, and slice into roasted red pepper strips, discarding the seeds and ribs. I like to slice the mushroom into strips as well. While the grill is still warm, toast a hoagie roll on it. Tessellate triangles of Havarti cheese on the warm bread so that it can soften. As said bread cools, I also like to flavor some mayonnaise with herbs like parsley and basil or with Calabrian chili paste, or both. There is no layer logic here. Just sandwich your vegetables between the bread, wrap it in parchment or foil to get a more deli-adjacent experience, and eat it somewhere in the sun with your shirt off. In an effort to make a prettier sandwich, let us exercise restraint. This time, only grilled eggplant and red pepper will make it into the mix. I like to toast ciabatta bread instead of hoagie rolls, smearing one half with a layer of goat cheese and the other with a classic basil pesto. Layer in the grilled eggplant and charred peppers and cut in half diagonally. To serve, alter the orientation of one half of the sandwich just as every restaurant does in order to charge 5% more. This lends height to the plate and shows off the Sammy's cross section. With meat processing plants shutting down, I've found that the animal products in my grocery store are becoming more scarce and much lower in quality. But I'm using this to my advantage. Summer only comes once a year, so partake in the hot weather harvest and cobble together some incredibly in-season sandwiches, be they easy, tasty, or pretty. I'm getting back in the pool. See ya!